Oh, my aching back. Ever had that feeling? A problem in your back could be disguised as a pain in your leg. But a new procedure at Foundation Surgical Hospital is putting a halt to that pain and getting patients back on their feet the same day. And doing well? Yes, very well. The sciatica that brought me to you was gone the minute I woke up from the anesthesia and has remain gone. Dr. Harry Sperling is back for his one-year checkup after undergoing a new procedure to fix spinal stenosis or narrowing of the spine. It's caused by joints that deteriorate as we age. Typically uh, these are people who will have back pain when standing, um, maybe not so much when they're sitting or lying down, but in addition to that when they stand for a certain length of time or walk a certain distance, they will get pain that will begin in their hips, their buttocks, and then slowly go down the legs, usually all the way to the ankles. Surgery was the last resort for Dr. Sperling, who suffered those exact symptoms. And he tried everything. He tried injection, which was a joke. Steroid injections. Um, he tried physical therapy. Nothing worked. Until Dr. Lianzo placed these small titanium aspen products in his back. We slip this in, open it up, spread it as much as that band will allow us to. That, that releases some of the tension. And then we remove this device. And in its place, we slip in the, this device. And there's a wing that attaches to it. If you'll notice, it has those little teeth on it, clamp this down tight, and then tighten the set screw, and it remains in place indefinitely. Dr. Anzel says this takes pressure off the nerve, then the patient is pain-free. That's a big deal, since suffering from pain often affects the entire family. And it impacted both of our lives. I didn't see him smile for several years. It affected the mood at home. I mean, we were used to kidding around and so, and, and it just wasn't there. What's the difference between now and then? Huge? Uh, it, yes, it's very much better. Dr. Sperling says he was back on his feet immediately after surgery and back to normal activities the same week. A big difference in the way patients used to recover. Historically, the way we've done this is through a fairly large operation where we open a person up, separate the muscles, and then actually remove bone from the back of the spinal canal. Um, it's typically anywhere from two to three hour operation. Oftentimes also requires a fusion and Hello? placing instrumentation of screws and rods in the spine to, to stabilize a, a slippage. Patients used to have to be in the hospital for four days and take up to three months to recover. Dr. Ansel says this 20-minute procedure requires only a one-night hospital stay and takes less than a week to recover. You can see the little devices lined up here. Um, he actually had a partial slippage at this level. If you'll notice, this vertebra has shifted forward on the one in back of it. Usually, if we didn't do the, the interspinous distraction procedure, he would have had to have a fusion of these two vertebrae with pedicle screws and rods and um, a much bigger operation. When did you see him <laughs> smile again? The next day. How big of a deal was that for you to be able a, to... A very big deal. <laughs> make you feel better to see your husband happy again? You bet. Here's another positive thing about this procedure. Most health insurance companies will cover the cost of the procedure. As far as risk or concern, Dr. Angel says it's the typical risk of undergoing anesthesia and infection.